welcome everyone to my channel so um today we are still on our usual tax which is zero x zero zero um which we are gonna be doing today and please make sure you don't forget to like subscribe uh to my channel and god bless you if you have done that so and if you're about to do god also bless you <laughs> So let's get started. So the next thing we are talking about here is um, doing the tax tree, the tax tree, which is this one here. So we are printing integers. So you know what integers simply means. Printing integer means um, printing out numbers. So on a string. So um, we ask to complete this source code in order to print the integer stored in. A variable called number so in Python if we we want to okay let me let me use the previous uh, let me start from the previous knowledge uh, we had before so you know that in C programming if we want to uh, declare a variable um, where we store our information we either say int that is for integer const uh, we use uh, um, what is it called again I think there's one for string, str for string, and um, floats and doubles. So we use all those to declare a variable. But in this situation, if you want to declare a variable, whatever it is, uh, in Python, we don't need uh, all those um, suffix, or will I call it prefix, to it because uh, we can just go straight and just call it number is equals to six or x is equals to five just like simple mathematics if you are solving mathematics and maybe you are solving the final answer is now giving you like y is equals to something like that so that is how it is going to be here so we are going to assign a value to that number followed by uh um, battery street so we have a number after a number followed by what battery Street. So I'm just going to copy this battery street like this. I'm just going to copy that. So you can find the source code here. Uh, uh, okay, we think we have source code there. So the output of the code should be followed by battery street. So whatever the output is going to give or whatever we are going to calculate or whatever we're going to do, let our output be followed by that. So you are not allowed to cast the variable numbers into the string. So you, you are not permitted to say uh, uh, maybe three um, battery streets of four battery streets or six battery streets or seven battery streets. What's supposed to be there is supposed to be a variable, uh, information of a variable. The information you stored inside that variable is supposed to be there, not the um, value hard-coded on the string so later on you guys are going to understand what i'm talking about so your code must be three lines long okay so uh we expect our code to be three lines long so we are, we are um our old code supposed to be in a tree line um you have to use um f string tips so uh we, we're going to discuss more on that f string tips um f string tips simply means format strings uh, format or just put it format. How do you want to format your this thing? How do you want to present it based on uh, this thing? It's just like a print f state um, print f um, function. Um, how it function? One part of the print f is the text. Then inside it you might see percentage d percentage whatever um, s percentage n percentage x and so forth. Then and stuff like that. Then we have another part for the format where it holds the format for each um, percentage D or percentage S we have in there. So it's the same thing to applicable here too. But I'm going to show you two approaches of coming up with such solution. So without wasting much time, we are going straight to uh, doing this. Uh, and let's say I'm going to do that. So I'm going to open my terminal. So opening my terminal, so you just permit me, I uh, use Termux terminal, so uh, you can watch how you install that on your phone. It's very reliable 
you can do absolutely every damn thing you can think of on this so let's see what we can do so i'm just gonna clear my screen so i don't know if it's a kind of tiny for you so let me zoom so you see what i'm doing so uh, if you check here you see that we have a bunch of stuff here so um if you can remember we always make use of the desktop if i'm not mistaken so uh, i'm gonna see the inside my desktop like this i push that up here and i check what we have there so you can see that we have alx higher level programming uh, so i'm gonna see the inside that alx like that then i am going to list what we have there ls so we have this inside it which is 0x0 python hello world you can see that so i'm going to see that as um, enter inside that too like that and finally we are inside there so uh let me zoom out uh zoom out and clear my screen so we have a good view of what we are doing so this is it now the next thing we're gonna be doing here is uh we are going to check what we have inside this so if you can remember we have done this uh, uh we have done this also and we have done this uh, so we want to create another project which is that of five so why are we going to do that oh sorry that of three i mean so i'm just going to check what we have in there so the name of the file is going to be three dash print underscore number dot pi so three dash print underscore number dot pi so let's do that so how can i do that vim so three dash print underscore underscore number underscore number dot py so that's the name of the file so three print underscore number dot py like that so <coughs> that is the new file we have just created so inside it we shouldn't forget that there are a lot of things we should have inside there which is very important so we now go up there so i'm gonna uh where is that stuff so this is where we are the next thing i'm gonna do here is I'm, i want to check that stuff we always use up there um to call the python 3 wherever it is or wherever it's located so this is it here so i'm just going to copy that like that oh sorry i always have issues with this this guy okay so like that <coughs> so and i'm gonna paste this here so i'm gonna set it in insert mode and i'm gonna click on paste so we have that there uh going to the next line um <clears throat> that is for the first line i think we were asked that we only need three lines so this is my first line i've just made use of so the second line I'm going to declare the variable. So the variable we needed here is number, and the number is equals to is equals to uh, is equals to ninety. I think maybe it's ninety-eight. What we have there. So uh, I want to check if it's really ninety-eight. Because we're giving a sample here, so uh, okay, I think yeah, ninety-eight. That's okay, ninety-eight battery streets. So I'm just gonna copy battery streets like that. I'm just gonna copy battery streets, copy like that, and that's it. <clears throat> so now that I've done that. 
Now the next thing I'm going to do is so um, that is that I've put the uh, number is equals to 98 which that part is settled so I'm going over to the next line <coughs> to do that of the printing so I want to print that on the screen so I say print so open this uh, I'll go inside it uh, let me give enough space so you know that I've created opening and closing braces which is settled so you know that whenever we're writing in a string we need uh, 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 something like this to identify that so we need a double quote inside so inside this double quote uh, I'm gonna put our coily so I'm gonna show you the first method which you can use so I'm gonna use something like this you can see that then inside it I'm going to use number instead of putting 98 inside there so I'm just gonna use number number like that you can see that so number like that then inside here I'm gonna paste my battery street so let me check yeah I have battery streets there yeah battery streets I think that's all uh, yeah battery street that is all now if I print this whatever we have here is going to be printed on the screen so we are going to have this open coily braces uh, battery streets like that printed on the screen, but we don't want that to happen. We don't really want that to happen. We want 98 to be printed on the screen. Okay, let me let's let's be a bit more practical. So let's put it this way without the F string, so we know what the F string is used for. So I'm gonna escape this. Then I'm going to put save it like this. So. Uh, now that I've saved it, I want to run it, so I need to change the mode. So I'm going to change my mode to uh, something like U plus X, then um, I think that's 3, for tax 3, like that. So uh, let me LS to see. So we have tax 3 created already now I want to run the tax tree so I can just say Python Python then for the tax tree I'll put the name there okay now you can see what is printed out number then battery street but we don't want that to happen we don't want battery street to be printed out so we want a number to be printed out which is the 98 we have assigned to the variable number so that's what we want to be printed out on the screen not that stuff to be printed out so i'm going to enter inside again then um at this point here i'm just going to add f yeah at this point so i'm just gonna put f there so you can see so just like that adding f and i think we are good to go so that is the f string uh, i will show you another way of going about that again so uh let me go and run this again you can see we have 98 printed on the screen you can see 98 here 98 printed on the screen so that is that if you don't want to do it that way you can also do it this way uh, uh let let me show you another way of doing that um okay so i, I might decide to copy this Mm. and paste it here then I can come over here and remove this like that and I can come here sorry and I can get rid of this and put semicolon D like this this stands for what decimal just as we used uh, we always use it percentage d in c programming so we use column d here in python so we can come over here then we are going to concatenate it with a format function i tell you f string stands for format uh, format string to format string so i'm going to put dot then i'm going to put formats here uh, like this uh, i pray i should be correct so inside there, I'm just going to pass the number we have here inside it. Number like that. 
so uh formats f o r m a t formats yeah with the number there i think this should be correct okay let me escape run save and do the do this scene so you can see that also work we also have 98 yeah battery streets and we also have 98 the battery street so you can see the two method i've used in doing that so if you have not seen it look at it once more again in this i use this f yeah before everything we have here and i call the number here but in here i put the um, column d then here is for the format contains the format so if i put this three times i, I can allow it to appear here three times just like that so uh so remember we were asked that we only need one line of our code not multiple uh, stuff like this on the screen so either cheese either this or this anyone can work for you uh which one that looks a bit simpler or which one works based on the project so i'm just gonna um delete one of these so we have only this on the screen so because we only need three lines which is one two three and that's all so uh you save this um that's all for this project i hope you guys um enjoy this and you guys really understand uh please if you really love this tutorial and want me to keep up with it please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel and also uh uh share to your friends your loved ones uh, those that are really interested in learning programming uh python and thank you see you next time